Chaps, if your woman knows that you have the ability to cheat on her, then she is more likely to feel intense emotions and to become more obsessed with you. Let me go into detail and explain this. So if your woman doesn't see you as a man that is constantly being tempted by options, then she's not going to have hypergamy fulfilled and she is going to lose attraction with you. What do I actually mean by that? If your woman thinks that you don't have any other options but her, you're in trouble. Hypergamy is when people are dating upwards in socioeconomic status, right? Women are hypergamous because they always date upwards. Men will date sideways and down and up, they don't really care. But women will usually date sideways and upwards, never below them in social status. So you need to fulfill her hypergamy by showing that you actually have options to cheat. Now, I want to talk about the psychology behind why having the option to cheat is an essential attraction trigger if you want your girl to be obsessed with you. FYI, in capital letters, I am not telling men to cheat here, okay? Let's be very clear about that. So, the focus is not on infidelity, but on the perception of desirability and options, okay? The perception that you've got these options, not that you are cheating or that you know, you've just given up a chance to cheat. It's like, well, actually, giving up a chance to cheat, by the way, is, is very attractive because the fact that you've been given that chance and you've chosen not to shows you are really powerful. That's actually the most powerful way to have women attracted to you, especially your own woman. The concept that being desired by others can enhance a person's value in a relationship. It absolutely can. The importance of being seen as having options, even if one chooses to be faithful. And let me reiterate again, I do believe that you should be faithful. However, it's extremely important to show that you have options to be like, hey, I could cheat if I wanted to. That's how desirable I am as a man. Let's talk about the key elements of having the ability to cheat, okay? Remember, emphasis on ability to cheat is the important part. Of course, attractiveness and charisma, the role of being physically, you know, the role of looking good and having charisma in attracting others. I always talk about this, staying fit. Been to the gym a few times this week, check out my muscles, just absolutely blowing here. Always dressing well and being socially adept to environments. These, these are key things in, in being able to attract anyone, not just having the ability to cheat. Social proof and status, so how being seen with other attractive people or other, you know, other popular people can obviously increase your perceived value, okay? I've got a lot of friends who are promoters who always walk into clubs with a bunch of different girls and their, their, their perceived value is quite high. Remember, perceived value is the key, not necessarily always the actual value. Perceived value is more important than actual value in these instances. So having a social circle that admires you, being respected in your field, being loved by others, being known by people, that all raises your social proof. Also, obviously, confidence, displaying that in interactions with the opposite sex and the importance of maintaining independence and not appearing overly attached, okay? You never want to feel appear overly attached to anyone in that sense. Now, I want to talk about this psychological aspect here. I want to talk about the perception of having options and how it affects your partner's attraction, okay? If, if she doesn't doubt that she's your best option, she might be doubting that you are hers, right? So that is a really interesting line. She needs to feel that you have other better options that you could potentially cheat. And if she feels like you don't have better options, then she'll be like, wait a minute, maybe he's not my best option, is what I mean by that. So I've reiterated this term hypergamy a few times in this video, whereby, like I said, women will date upwards in socioeconomic status. She needs to look up to you the role of scarcity and competition in increasing people's desires, of course, because the, you know, a, a top man is very scarce, and so women will compete for that man. I always talk about this. A bit of competition can spice up the relationship. Absolutely. I'm not saying that when you're with your girlfriend, you want other women to compete to get you directly, but you want your woman to know that other women are hovering around and trying to get you, and you are turning them down. That is extremely powerful. How to use this knowledge uh, responsibly without causing unnecessary tension. This is absolutely key. I don't want you guys breaking up with your girlfriends because all of a sudden you're talking to girls at the bar and you're being a bit too flirtatious, right? So here's some misconceptions. I'm not encouraging infidelity, okay? Clarification that the goal is not to encourage cheating, but to understand the psychology behind desirability. What makes you desirable? The difference between having options and acting on them. This is the key. I've said this. When you have the options, but you love your girl, you're a true G at that point. 
If you don't act on your options, then you really are the man at that point. If you are acting on your options, then you're just a cheating bastard. And I don't condone that behavior. Overemphasizing physical appearance. So while appearance obviously plays a role, other factors like confidence, charisma, and social proof are all equally important. Okay, it's not just about, oh my God, he's super good looking and everyone wants to, everyone wants to get with him. Actually, like I've said to you, my friends with the highest levels of social proof who aren't actually that necessarily good looking are the ones that are getting the most girls at the moment and having the most girls hover around them, which makes them desirable. Some would call it sleazy. I would say it actually is making them look desirable to other women because they're always surrounded by all these women that are competing for them. So here's some strategies for maintaining a perceived value. Guys, I always talk about this. This is what my channel is about. It's about personal development, okay? Continually improving yourself in various aspects of life, being a full stack man. Pursue new hobbies, advance your career, start a business, improve your social skills. You should constantly be attempting to do this stuff. And I teach a lot of this stuff in my school community, which you will see in the description below in this video. Join myself and all these other top percentage men in society that are constantly trying to improve themselves. And what that does is it maintains and raises your perceived value and it actually maintains your value full stop as a man. So join my school community and join the elite group of men that are in that community and have direct access to us to be able to work on all these different things and to actually increase your value. So. Also healthy boundaries and independence, okay? Maintaining personal interests and time apart from your partner is absolutely key. If you're around your girlfriend all day long, your perceived value will tank. Importance of not being overly available to keep your relationship dynamic and exciting. Obviously, you are a busy man, you have a purpose, you're not always available to speak to, and that will raise your value as a man. You'll be like, well, she's like, wow, he's busy, he's got his business, he's got his purpose. God, he's so busy that I can't even get a moment of his damn time. That is actually an advantage. The art of harmless flirting and being socially adept without crossing boundaries. Now this is key because if you mess this up, you will ruin your relationship. Keeping interactions light and fun while maintaining respect for your partner, okay? So if, again, if you're deliberately trying to flirt with other girls and you mess up and you kiss another girl in a club or some dumb shit like that and you get caught, that's your problem. I have not told you to do that. So. Here's some potential pitfalls and how you can avoid them, right? So obviously insecurity and jealousy is a massive problem. The risk of making your partner insecure if the perception of having options is too strong, you ought to be careful here. You've got to balance confidence with reassurance and loyalty. So you must reassure your partner that you love them, you want to be with them, and you will not, uh, you know, you have all these options, but she is your person. Baby, you're my girl. I love you. You're my person. I'm not going to mess around. Yeah, fine. These other girls are hitting on me, but I ain't doing shit. Did you see me do anything? No. Would I do anything? No, I'm with you. That's how these things work. I'm loyal to you, right? So show that loyalty and reassure her so that it's okay for her to be slightly jealous, okay? It's okay for her to be slightly jealous, but if she's majorly jealous because you've given her a reason to, then you have messed up somewhere along the line. So that fine balance is absolutely key. Miscommunication, so ensuring clear communication about your boundaries and intentions, avoiding misunderstandings that could arise from interactions with others. Let me go back here and talk about boundaries because if your woman says to you that she doesn't want you on tables with five or six other girls, then she is setting her boundaries at that point. It's up to you if you're breaking those boundaries or not. If you are then sitting on a table with 10 girls and she's told you she doesn't want you to do that, you are crossing her boundaries and she has the right to dump you and get rid of you because you have crossed the line. And that, and that, in that sense, you're going a bit too far. But if it's your job, for example, and you're, I don't know, a bikini contest judge, good for you, that'd be fantastic. If you are, please leave some comments below. We'd all love to talk to you. But if you are, I don't know, a bikini judge contest guy and, she knows of your career path and she knows what you do and she kind of has to be okay with it. Otherwise, she shouldn't be with you in the first place. So if she's jealous in that instance, then she's the one in the wrong because she knows what she signed up for, okay? So let me conclude this now. The importance of obviously maintaining a high perceived value in a relationship is absolutely key. And you maintain high value in a relationship by showing that you have the ability to cheat. The ability to cheat, not to cheat. There's a very fine line between those two. And obviously the emphasis on the balance between being desirable and being faithful is absolutely key. My G, you want to be desirable to many different types of women, but you also want to be faithful to your woman. That is when you have really mastered psychology and that is when your woman will continue to be obsessed with you.